Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Anis and I'm a thoracic surgeon. I've been invited today to talk about Google autocomplete words regarding thoracic surgery. Okay, can we do it again? Faster. Here we go. The first web question asked today will be who is a thoracic surgeon? I work in a speciality which deals with everything in the chest, which means from the base of the neck up to the area which is above the diaphragm. So this space is called the thoracic space. What does a thoracic surgeon operate on? The branch of thoracic surgery is divided into two nowadays, it's cardiac surgery and thoracic surgery. A cardiac surgeon operates on the heart and its covering, and the thoracic surgeon operates on all the other organs in the chest excluding the heart. What is the difference between a respiratory doctor and a thoracic surgeon? A respiratory doctor is also called as a pulmonologist or a respiratory physician. He deals with the medical aspects of all diseases in the chest, especially those related to the lung. He prescribes medicines and he treats common conditions like asthma, COPD, etc. Thoracic surgeon is a doctor who operates on all organs as described before in the space of the chest. When should you see a thoracic surgeon? In the present day context, you are usually referred to a thoracic surgeon by a respiratory physician or by a medical oncologist. You can consult with a thoracic surgeon in a few other areas. One is for screening for your lung health and screening for early stage lung cancers. Two, you can, they also deal in conditions related to the chest wall and their deformities. You can also come and see him for simpler things like sweaty palms. Rarely, you can quickly come and see him for some other tumor which has been diagnosed elsewhere and you need an opinion from a thoracic surgeon. Why does smoking cause lung cancer? Okay, there's a lot of evidence out there as to why smoking increases the chance of you having lung cancer. The cigarette has got two comp. One is the nicotine and the tar and its products. The nicotine per se does more damage to your heart and blood vessels while the tar products which come out of the smoke does more damage to your lung epithelium and acts as a precursor for lung cancer. Also we need to remember this just because you don't smoke doesn't mean that you will not get lung cancer. May you lie? Ah. Why is lung cancer inoperable? This is a wrong question. The question is, when is the lung cancer inoperable? There are four stages to lung cancer. One, two, three, and four. Usually stage four of lung cancer is considered inoperable or when the lung cancer is invading vital organs in the body which cannot be removed, say your heart, the great vessels of the neck, your vertebra and the spinal column. So these are the conditions where you can consider the lung cancer is inoperable and they are usually late stage lung cancers. Why can't lung cancer be cured? That is absolute nonsense. Okay. In the present day and age, stage 1 lung cancer can be cured close to 80 to 85 percent of the time. So the earlier you get and trace a lung cancer, the faster your chances of having a cure. Even stage 2s, stage 3s and some stage 4s, even though not cured, but they can be kept under control and remission. Why is lung cancer the most common cancer? It's not true. Lung cancer is the second most common cancer. But lung cancer is the most common cancer which kills because most of the lung cancer is diagnosed in the later stages. When we have a stronger screening program in a country and we get early stage lung cancers to be treated, then we will find that lung cancer does not kill so easily. What is the survival rate of lung cancer? Okay. That is really a tough question even for an expert like me to answer. But let me simplify this. What I say now may not be relevant probably in six months time because the rate at which science is progressing in the field of lung cancer. As we stand today, survival for stage 1 lung cancer can range anywhere between 85 to 90 percent. And the best method for treating stage 1 lung cancer is surgery. Put it in terms of what we call 5 year survivals, meaning how long will you live with this cancer. And usually for five years, if you have not had the cancer in your body, we would say that you are probably cured of lung cancer. So it probably happens between 55 to 60% of the times in stage two. Stage three lung cancers are very complicated. They can be good to very bad. So the survival can then go between 30% to 50% five-year survivals. 
And stage 4 cancer is anybody's guess. It could be days, weeks, months or even years. Why do I say that is now we have the advent of newer technology, greater operating techniques and newer medicine which comes out almost one every week which are in the progress, what I would call amazingly progressive signs which has helped our patients to feel better, get themselves cured of this bad cancer. How to diagnose lung cancer? Well that's my job. So you can come to me for screening where you can be asymptomatic, we pick up. But if you already had a scan which shows that you have a lung nodule, so the best way to start in the process of diagnosis is to have a CD scan, which is most commonly done nowadays with much less radiation. Usually you will know which part of the lung is affected by cancer, following which you will undergo probably what is called a biopsy, where a sample of the tissue of the lung is taken. It can be done either by through by a radiologist or nowadays by advanced technique by the surgeon or a respiratory physician using their bronchoscope. Following which, once you've had a diagnosis or tissue diagnosis of lung cancer, then the step will be to how do we stage your lung cancer, which will probably require you undergoing a PET CT scan, and that will help us to stage your lung cancer, and then we will treat your lung cancer according to the stage. In conclusion, I would like to say that lung cancer used to be a death sentence a few decades ago. I reassure you that no, it is not. You have a lot of options to diagnose and to treat and get cured of lung cancer. So if you have any further questions, feel free to email me. Okay. Okay, I need tea.